Well, you are looking at some cows who will be entering some competitions. And welcome to Vankley Kill. We are talking about the Vankley Kill Fair. And here to tell us a little bit more about it is Scott Allen. Now, this has been going on for 169 years, the Vankley Kill Fair. Yeah. How did this all get started? Uh, well, I think probably a few farmers got together one year and decided that they wanted to have a little competition with their cows and their crops. and. Um, and from there on, it just blossomed into yeah. what we see here today. Right. It's been moved once. This is in the original location. The original location was on the other side of town. Okay. And it moved here about 19, I'd say 1902, 1904, wow. somewhere in so there. So it's been going on quite a few years. That's obviously evolved quite a bit over the the generations. Uh, you know, you were saying something like 20,000 people come here over the course of the weekend. Probably, yeah. That's a pretty big number for a town that only, you know, houses 1,800 people. people. Yeah, we have a big... Like, we have anywhere from five or 6,000 a night. Yeah. Um, especially for a Saturday night, we'll have a big crowd Saturday right, night. Right, the, the big draw is a demolition derby. Now, we are looking at some of the cows. Maybe talk about some of the competitions that'll happen here this weekend. Okay. Um, well, we have lots of things going on. We have horse shows. We have cattle shows. We have 4-H shows. We have, uh, of course, a demolition derby on Saturday night, which right. is, has 60 cars in it. Thursday night we have something new that there's only been one other in Eastern Ontario which was last year and we thought we'd try it this year is the Combine Demolition Derby. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I've never even heard of that before. Uh, it's big down in the United States but it hasn't been caught on too much around here yet so we're hoping to see what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, yeah, Thursday night see what's going to happen right. and um, we'll now, see if uh, see how, it how it goes. goes. We have seven combines entered so... That's pretty cool. Now I'm seeing lots of different sizes of cows. We have the calves, the baby ones, and then we have adult cows. Are there different levels of cow competitions here? Um, well, the, there's a class for each different cows. There's like, this is probably a, they call it a bay, uh, March class, which is okay. a calf born in March 2013. Mm -hmm. Then there'll probably be a September, uh, there'll be a March, December, September, okay. and it just goes up by three months until you get to like two years old, and then it's, there's a junior two-year-old, a senior two-year-old, and it goes on to uh, what they call an age cow class. Right. So there's roughly, uh, I think there's 14 classes altogether. Wow. And cows. so what are the judges looking for in terms of the cows and the cattle? Are there different things they're looking for? I know these ones are going to be cleaned up and shined up quite immaculate. Oh, yeah. In time be, for competition. They haven't got their, uh, their makeup on yet. But no. But they look good for uh, And I've seen it happen before. It's quite a process to clean them up, these cattle. Oh yeah, they'll be washed and they'll be clipped and they'll be pampered like you wouldn't believe. It's just like uh, like going to the beauty parlor for them. <laughs> a full spa day yeah. for these cattle. Yeah. And now young kids can enter this as well, right? What's the youngest you can be to enter the 4-H competition? Um, the 4-H competition goes from 10 to 10 to 21. Mm -hmm. And the um, we also have a little uh, Pee Wee class yeah. during the... Um, hosting show on Friday. Okay, and they're very young, right? They can be like, I uh, remember seeing yeah. like five They'll or be six. From five to ten years old. Five That's to eight insane. Years old. And they're not nervous of walking these cattle around at all? Uh, not really. They're, no? Um, they'll be smaller calves and they're they'll still have smaller it. calves and the calves all will right. be, uh, they'll, now, they'll have lots of help. There doesn't look like there's a lot of cows in here, but this is going to be a jam-packed place Yeah, we have by probably, the end of the day. probably between 80 and 80 and 100 head. Wow, um, insane. In the three barns we have here. Perfect. Of course, people can come and check it out. It's happening Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday all weekend long here at the Vankley Kill Fair. And uh, coming up next, we're actually going to preview a bit more of the combine competition and learn more about that.